Target po ng Department of Trade and Industry na mapalakas pa ang local halal industry sa bansa. Kaya lumagda ang ehensya ng isang kasunduan upang matugunan ang tumataas nitong demand. Yan ang ulat ni Ryan Lasigas. Sa hangaring mas mapalakas pa ang halal industry sa bansa, inilunsad ngayong araw ng Department of Trade and Industry ang National Strategic Plan para sa pagpapaunlad pa ng local halal industry sa Pilipinas. Lumagda ng Memorandum of Understanding ang DTI at ang kumpanyang DKPO Fulfillment Company Incorporated. Target ng DTI na makalikom ng 230 billion investment at makagawa ng nasa isang daan at 20,000 trabaho sa nasabing sektor sa loob ng limang taon. Planong tugunan ang tumataas na demand para sa halal products at serbisyo mula sa domestic market ng Pilipinas. Uh, we're just starting. Uh, we've had uh, preliminary discussions with our friends in Malaysia and uh, we'll build you know, our uh, capabilities from there. Uh, another starting point is the uh, revival of the enterprises in Marawi City with the funding that's made uh, available for that endeavor. So we'll have to start from those uh, uh, initial transactions and build up from there. We are giving ourselves uh, five minutes, to, uh, five minutes, five, uh, five years to, to build the... Uh, the business, the halal business in the country. Ang Halal Industry Development Initiative ay bahagi ng apat na prioridad ng DTI na kinabibilangan ng promoting regional development, attaining food security, upgrading, upskilling, at upsizing micro, small, and medium enterprises, at job skills matching and skills upgrading. Hindi lang sa pagkain na katutok ang gagawing roadmap dahil isasama na rin dito ang Islamic Finance, Travel and Tourism, modest fashion, pharmaceuticals at cosmetics. Para maging vetted ka, kailangan mo lang meron kang order o may kontrata ka. Ganun kasimple lang yan. Kasi marami sa atin may order. Ang nangyayari, pinapasa lang natin. For example, may order kang 10 million o 5 million, hindi mo kaya. So you just pass it on. Yeah? So, ito talaga is what you call is an excess opportunity sharing program. We need to create an ecosystem uh, that is acceptable to all, uh, you know, uh, population of a country in Malaysia. Halal is accepted by everyone, be it Muslims and non-Muslims. And here, I think it's important that we, we promote this to the whole population. Inaasahang aabot sa 7.7 trillion US dollar ang halaga ng global halal market. Mas mataas ito sa naitala noong 2015 na umabot lang sa 3.2 billion US dollar. Ryan Lisigues para sa bayan.